Colorado marriage license. It is no surprise that the wedding day is something special for people. There are so many things to do, from decorating to invitation cards. People seem to think about nothing, but making their day the most beautiful and unforgettable. The good news is that nearly anyone can get married in Colorado, but for getting the license they must be Colorado residents. But, unlike many other states Colorado doesn't forbid marriages between non-U.S. habitants and people with the same sex. Proxy marriages are also common in Colorado. Let's start with the age, to take this responsible step you must be at least 18 years old. Otherwise, you'll need your parents, guardians or judges legal permission in case you are 16 or 17 years old. But, if you are 15 or younger, you must have court order plus to the legal consent. Applicants should apply for the Colorado marriage license in person. They can go either to the local Colorado county clerk or the nearest recorder office. There they must present the following documents, driver's licenses, birth certificates, military identification cards, IDs proof, acceptable ID, alien registration card, certificate of naturalization, state-issued driver's license and ID, visa cards and of course passports. It is essential that all these papers contain the date of birth. That is for assuring the person has the appropriate age to enter into matrimony. The language also plays a vital role. If the papers are not in English, applicants should do a certificate of translation. If you want to make the biggest day of your life together and without any relatives or friends you can definitely make it in this state. Colorado is one of the few states that doesn't require any witnesses to be present during the wedding ceremony. Another advantage is that the state law doesn't make people do any tests before getting married, for instance the blood test which is a must to do before marriage in many states. The state gives a fixed price which is $30, and you can as well check it with the clerk and recorder's office to make sure. They will also tell you in what way you can pay the fee. Some counties accept the money either in cash or paid with debit and credit cards, without any checks, others accept only in cash.